Governor Adam Sushomole, who expressed concern about the financial predicament at the local government, said relevant ministries and agents of government have been directed to put measures in place to reduce personnel and teachers. He said the decision will enable the local government to rearrange its priority to meet its obligations to the people. The governor said there are clear indications that some of the personnel have no business being there and as such should be transferred to save funds. From far out of, out of, of their northeast, at least 40% of the staff <laughs> and, and a lot of those staffs have no business being there. Whether they are medical, they are nurses, they are this, we need to reduce uh, the number of teachers in that local government by almost 50%. Governor Shumale also used the opportunity to condemn the incessant harassment of motorists, especially on the highway, over revenue. He disclosed that the state government will soon constitute a special task force to check the trend, also apprehend offenders. He adds that local government council has no legal right to establish traffic control units. The issue of traffic control is the exclusive prerogative of the state government, as well as issues of parking whether wrongly or rightly. That is the exclusive preserve of the state government. And we try to create proper identity for them so that we do not turn the road to a nightmare. We also want them to discourage the habit of stopping vehicles who are traveling through a new state. They stop them as if they should bring their radio license, their television license. Leader of the delegation from Ovia Northeast, Chief Sonny Uyigwe, draw the attention of Governor Shomale to the financial situation of Ovia Northeast local government occasioned by the rise in wage bill. Personnel, which includes health workers, will be reduced by 40%, while the Commissioner for Basic Education will put measures in place to reduce teachers by 50% through transfer. Christy McCauley, reporting.